Okay, so I did a top 20 favorite Frank Ocean songs, and I'm not gonna lie to you, people were eating me in the comments. I mean, just look at this one. My guy, these are my top 20 favorite Frank Ocean songs. You didn't have to go so hard. That being said, in one of my recent videos talking about what has happened since Blonde and Endless have released, somebody, a viewer, and hopefully a subscriber, make sure to subscribe, guys. That being said, commented on that video saying, could you maybe do a top 20 for Kanye? So shout out to you Rufus for that comment. We're doing it today in this video. We're doing my top 20 favorite Kanye West songs. So guys, welcome back to the Calvin show. And today we are doing my top 20 favorite Kanye West song. <laughs> Welcome back to the Kill Ivan Show. If you don't know me, I am Kill Ivan. Obviously, guys, if you are messing with this video, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification, like the video, share, and comment something. What is the worst Kanye West song? And go down into the description of this video. There's a link to you with all my socials, TikTok, Instagram, Discord, all that beautiful stuff. I'm on everything, so make sure to check me out on all socials. But let's get back into my top 20 favorite Kanye West songs. So for this video, I'm gonna only do official projects so official mixtapes and albums meaning that unfortunately leaked albums like Yandi will not count I'm not doing Donda 2 because like what what the hell was that um, we're doing only official project so let me name some of the official projects starting by the mixtapes get well soon I'm good con the Louis Vuitton Don which is a project I actually never heard um, make sure to tap into that welcome to Kanye's soul mix show with a track can't tell me nothing and good fridays a classic 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 tape and for the official albums i mean you already know them the cause dropout late registration graduation 808s and heartbreak my beautiful ducks of the fantasy watch the throne with jay-z yeezus the life of pablo yay kitsy ghost with kid cuddy jesus is king and we're finishing it with donda so guys that being said these are all the projects that i'm taking the songs from for my top 20 favorite kanye west tracks i've been listening since i was like nine kanye so listen i've been listening to a lot of kanye so i've had the chance to really think about this make my list and this is what we're gonna get so guys i'm also gonna give you explanation why i think this song is why i rank it why is it for me and why is it in the grand scheme of kanye west career so guys without any further ado let's get into it first of all i want to give an honorable mention to a song that is on the good friday mixtape i think it's one of his like most underrated songs it's amazing it's a banger it's amazing it's so good as a song and it's, i'm talking about christian dior denim flow the first christian dior dior I mean, this is amazing. Star studded lineup on the song. I mean, first of all, Kick Cutting on the Hook is crazy. Push It T's verse is amazing. And I mean, what can I say, man? This is just luxury rap. He's flexing about supermodels, man. Incredible track, very underrated. If you hadn't had the chance to listen to it, make sure to look into the Good Friday mixtape and look for Christian Dior Denim Flow. Um, I just really not much I can say. I love that song. It's amazing anyway let's get back into the top 20 at number 20 believe what i say off of donda now this song for me first of all kanye west every time he's with lauren hill he can't miss i mean it goes back to all falls down i mean what an incredible track kanye west sampling lauren hill it's always a surefire beautiful song from the production that is incredible to even the messaging of what he's saying you know like the beat is groovy He's funny on the track, but he's saying some real things like tweeting can make you die early. Like, seriously, he's very self-aware of what is going on. Kind of like an off-all down where he was super self-aware, you know? So I really like that track. I put it as a top 20 Kanye West track. For me, it's a top 20 Kanye song. At number 19, Feel the Love. Now, th this, this track is incredible. It's no surprise that Anthony Fantano gave this album a 10 out of 10, okay? and love the intro track. I mean, he even said in the video that you go through so many layers in one song. This song is incredible. It is layered, it is textured. There's so much things happening in one single song. That is under three minutes, which is ridiculous. Starting with Pusha T's incredible verse at the beginning. So Kanye West is coming out with the ra, ra ta 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 which is incredible and Kid Cudi is amazing on this song. It's so psychedelic, it is amazing. Like, I see colors when I listen to this song. I love it. Um, it's for me, it's at number 19. At number 18, another Kitsy Ghost song, and we're talking about Cuddy Montage. Listen, guys, I really like that project, and I really think that this song is very, very, very. I mean, first of all, they were talking about their mental health on this album, and 
not only are they talking about their selves, their struggles, but they're also talking about things that are happening in the world. I think it's incredible. It's really touching. You know, like rap, there's a lot of rap. There's a lot of rap music being put out. And sometimes we just don't get more introspective things. We don't get things that, you know, are maybe more conscious. And they really brought us back to that on a rock rap album, which is incredible. Uh, so I had to put that number 18. At number 17, another Kitsy Ghost one. Uh, I promise you, there's not going to be more Kitsy Ghost on this. Trust me. We have Reborn, which is a beautiful song. Uh, one of the best songs on that project. Kid Cudi's hook was incredible. And Kanye's verse really really like for a long time people were saying that kanye west you know um he's done he he's he gives garbage verses which he was doing for a while like there was like a lot of songs where his verses were like i mean like what are you doing man but he really put pen to paper and really tried anyway who know who even wrote it we don't know but listen the writer was doing his job okay that's all i gotta say he got back his good writers and he made a great song okay so that's why i had to put it at number 17. at number 16 no more parties in la off of the album the life of pablo what can I say? I, I feel like people don't talk about this enough. You have arguably what people would say is the greatest rapper of all time, being Kendrick Lamar, and Kanye West, who is the greatest rapper of all time, on a track. And listen, most of the time, I'm going to say this, most of the time, when Kendrick Lamar gets on your track, he murders you, okay? And honestly, if he had murdered Kanye on this, I would have been okay with it because it's Kendrick Lamar. But Kanye West went off on this song. This is a lo this is like a six minute song, and they're both of them are just going off, man. Incredible song, great rapping, man. I don't even know what to say, man. It was an incredible track, man, by Kanye West. If you haven't listened to it, I don't know what you're doing, but please, no more parties in LA. At number 15, On God Off of Jesus is King. And a lot of people are going to hate on me because I feel like a lot of people don't want any Jesus is King on the top 20 best tracks from Kanye West. They're bugging. This song is amazing because, first of all, Kanye West says a lot of things that really, like, opens your eyes to like what is going on in his mind bro like he said there's a verse where he says i bleached my hair for every time i could have died but i survived that's on god it's talking about suicidal thoughts every time he was bleaching his hair doing some crazy he was going through crazy stuff man which is in crazy which is just amazing for me just to be able to say that on the track openly like at the time he was like the richest black man in the history of america and just be so vulnerable i for me, the production by Pierre Bourne on this is also incredible, but I think it was really a great track in his discography and also just the openness of talking about, you know, his problems with, you know, his suicidal thoughts, man. Incredible track. At number 14, we got New Slaves off of Yeezus. Now, first of all, there's a Frank Ocean verse on this. Um, those are very rare. So every time you have a Frank Ocean verse on a song, it has to be in somebody's best songs in their discography. I'm sorry, I'm just got to say it. His verses, I remember the time he said that his verse on um, New Slaves was the greatest hip hop verse of all time. Okay, no, but it's a really good verse. He's talking about a lot of serious stuff and also it's just he's so aggressive on it. And I just love that energy, man. I love that energy. He's aggressive. He's punchy. He's, he's not playing around on this song, man. Um, he said, meanwhile, the DEA teamed up with the CCA. They trying to lock niggas up. Like, bro, look it up, man. He's talking some real stuff, man. Anyway, love the track, man. And that's why I had to put it at number 14. At number 13, we got Streetlights off of 808 and Harbick, a classic song. I mean, Daniel Caesar, he covered it. It's an incredible song. It's beautiful. It is sad. And if you go back to the time in 2008, no one was making music like this. So for Kanye West to come out with a song so melancholic, you know, so sad, you know, it, it, it's in beautiful with the rum, pa, pa, pum, pum, rum, pum, pum, like the production is amazing. It's, it's one of my favorite sad songs to listen to. Incredible song. This song inspired so many artists that are making you no know, more moody rap. It comes from this song. If you can look at Juice World, XXX, if you look at a lot of rappers, it's it's one of the I mean, you have Juice World singing it in an interview, taking um the album out of his backpack, singing Streetlights, man. Uh beautiful song. Beautiful song by Kanye. At number 12, we got Otis on Watch Your Throne. This song. First of all, you have again, arguably the greatest rapper of all time, Jay-Z with Kanye West, which is the greatest rapper of all time. Going back and forth on a track, man. No chorus, just not, not, not. Like the production, Otis Redding, a legend in African American music. Like, what else do you want? This is a great single, triumphant single. Their verses are incredible. It is knocking. It is fun. One of the best songs I've ever heard from Kanye. One of the best produced songs by Kanye West, in my opinion. Um, I have to give this a number 12. At a number 11, we have Hey Mama off of the registration. Guys, I think. This is a very important song in Kanye West's whole career. Uh, I mean, this is the woman that made him. He would be nowhere without her. He said it multiple times. This was his guiding light. And ever since he's lost her, nothing has been the same. 
it's a touchful song it's a beautiful song i mean on mother's day i play it to my mom all the time i love this song and i have it at number 11. now we are getting in the top 10 of my favorite kanye west songs now this was hard to make but this is really my top 10 like i think these all deserve to be in here um so let's start with number 10. at number 10 we have come to life off of donda listen kanye west is not a great singer he had to use auto tune and 80 weights and heartbreak because he's not a good singer but on come to life i don't know what happened but he was singing incredibly on that song it is beautiful the piano by tyler crater incredible it makes me want to cry this song the first time i heard it i was like i love this song it's one of the best kanye west songs in my opinion and i have it at number 10. at number nine now i think people are gonna go crazy on this one but i have yikes off of yay and let me tell you why i think going back to like on God, on Jesus is King, where Kanye West saying he has suicidal thoughts. On Yikes, Kanye West declares to the world, I'm bipolar. These are the medications I take, and I'm proud of it. That's my superpower. I've never seen something so powerful in my life. To be able to say you have a disease, a mental health disease that honestly, let's be honest, in a lot of African-American communities, being, you know, a black person myself, we don't talk about those things. So a rapper of Kanye West stature to come out and say like, yeah, I got these problems. Um, I got this disease and you know, I'm not ashamed of, I'm not ashamed of it. I thought it was so powerful. The beat is dope. The rapping is cool. His lyrics are funny. I just love that song. I have it at number nine. For me, it's a top nine Kanye West track. Top 10 Kanye West track for sure. Yikes. I love it. At number eight, Good Life. These are like, okay, when I started listening to Kanye West, it was around 2007. He had just dropped Graduation. The two first songs I ever heard by Kanye were Stronger and Good Life. I, I think this is just a, first of all, a triumphant song. For me, that album completely is just Kanye West victory lap. Like, yo, I made you two classics. I dropped the third classic. I'm back to back to back in classic albums. I'm a superstar now. What's up? T-Pain was in his bag on this feature. Incredible feature by T-Pain. Kanye West rapping was incredible. Just the flipping of the PYT beat from Michael Jackson. The, what else can I say, man? This is incredible track. Like, honestly, if you don't have this in your top 10, I don't know what's up, man. This is a classic Kanye West song. One of it, like, one of his most classic songs, man. Like, if I had to, if you had to give me five songs, you have to play to a guy, to, to a person to make him a Kanye West fan, this is definitely a song I'm playing for you. You don't need any context on Kanye West's life. You don't need nothing, no nothing. It's just a great song to listen. And that's why I got it at number eight. At number seven, we have power off my beautiful darks of fantasy this is maybe one of the best produced songs i've heard in my entire life not just for kanye but in the history of music this song is and look he said it took like ten thousand. i may be mistaken but a, an enormous amount of man hours to make this song it is so textures there's so many instruments drums the sample choices are incredible just talking about 21st century schizoid man from kings and crimson incredible like the First of all, his rapping is amazing. And he talks about suicide on this also. Back in 2010, jumping off the window, letting everything go. And when he says he can make your life so exciting, so exciting, so exciting, it starts turning into suicide, suicide, suicide. Incredible track. Incredible track. Like, it's a six-minute adventure, and it changed. It's it's incredible. Like, it's one of his, it, it might be, and I know Kanye West said like it was one of his weakest singles. He's lost his mind. It is maybe his greatest single ever. Okay, maybe not because we're, we're going to get into the later, we're going to go a little bit higher in the top 10. There's songs that are arguably maybe better, but like, it's just, it's so, it's so maximalistic. It's so like, just throw everything on a song, bro. And it just works perfectly. I just don't know what to say, man. It's an incredible track, man. Like I could talk about an hour. There's so many things to, I mean, if you know the Dissect podcast, there was a podcast that talks about music and dissect songs. Do you like, I think that episode was like one hour of him. Just dissect, and there was still things to say. There's so much going on in one song. It's incredible. This video could take 10 hours. I don't want it to make it that long. So we're going to get into the other songs. But if you want me to make a video about power, talking about the whole song structure and everything, I can, but right, not right now, because I could talk about it for days and days. It's an incredible track. At number six, Runaway off my beautiful dark of fantasy for a lot of people it is kanye west best song for a lot of people i don't have it as his best but i can understand why people think that he's not even rapping on this he's singing the singing is pretty damn good i'm gonna be honest with you but it's just because it was so genre bending and even in 2010 this was revolutionary like song it's simplistic in the piano 
but the production is also incredible. And when he's crooning in auto tune, people say they don't like it. They're, they've lost their minds. It's beautiful. It's a 10 minute adventure, this song, again. Like, I think the only 10 minute song from an artist that beats this one is Pyramids, because Pyramids is like the greatest song of the 2010s. But besides that, it's an incredible track, man. Like, really, there's a lot to say about this track, and it's beautiful. And it's like an apology song to the world that he's made, um, but a backhanded one, I guess. But anyway, love the song. And that's why I got a number six. And then we get into the top five best Kanye West tracks. This was hard to make, but I think these are really like, it's really hard for me to argue that there's any other song in the scarf is better than these ones. And let's start at number five with All Falls Down. This is maybe one of my favorite songs of all time. This song is in, first of all, Lauren Hill on this. I mean, even though she didn't sing her part, he had to get another artist to sing the part of for Lauren Hill. But this Lauren Hill sample, what the heck? The lyrics on this song are incredible, man. Talk about, you know, he's so self-aware in this song. It's incredible, you know. Um, couldn't afford a car, so they named her daughter Alexis. Like, <laughs> oh my God. She don't want to drop out of school because her family going to look at her funny. Like, guys, up like this song is so, like, in, like, like, the, this is the thing with the college dropout is that it's it's so so important like album like this is so universal because even today i still have arguments with my mom about going to school if it's worth going to school is it worth going into debt kanye was in this song is saying that she don't want to drop out of school because her family gonna look at her funny i have these conversations with my family up to today man like should i go to school is it worth it is it a good choice should i start working already make money He's talking about that shit in 2004. It's still relevant today. Even more now because school is so damn expensive. Like, do you see how this guy's in the future? It, it's, it's ridiculous, man. This is one of the best songs ever, man. Super well written. The production is incredible. Like, bro, and this is his first album, bro. One of his first singles. Like, I don't know what to say, man. This is a top five Kanye West song. If this is not in your top five, you're wrong. I don't care. At number four, we got Jesus Walks off the college dropout. This is one of the greatest songs ever. Rolling Stone put it as in the top 500 greatest songs of all time. There's a reason for that. This is a beautiful song, very well written, powerful message about just religion. Love the song, incredible. Like, Kaz Jabba is really, for me, it's his, it's the greatest debut hip hop album of all time because it's, the songs are just on another level on this album. Like, I don't know what the hell he was on. And mind you, he drops this good of an album, but My Beautiful Dark's Fantasy is still better. How is he not the GOAT? Anyway, let's get into the top three now. At number three, we have Through the Wire off the Cause Dropout. This is, I wouldn't say it's the greatest, this is this his first single? I don't say it's the greatest hip hop single because like Nas exists, Biggie exists, you know, like, so I'm not gonna say it's the greatest single of all time, greatest debut single or whatever, but it is so powerful like song because like when Kanye West says he turned tragedy to triumph, I mean, he, bro, he had a car accident. He almost lost his life. His jaw was wired shut. He was broke. He had no money to his name. He was struggling. And he wrote this song while his mouth was still wired shut, spitting his soul through the, like, I don't want to say, man. This is a, like, damn, bro. Off your first single, this is just, I don't know, man. It's like Michael Jordan's career, it seems like it was just written as a fairy tale because it's so perfect, except when he played for the Wizards. But... That's how Kanye West start of his career looks like, bro. Like you, how are you so perfect all around on your first? I, I don't know, but anyway, through the wire, incredible track. The production is incredible. Shaka Khan don't know what she's talking about of hating on Kanye West for how he used her voice on it. She's she's lost her mind. This song's incredible, man. At number two, we have Murder to Excellence off Watch the Throne. A lot of people are gonna think this is weird because songs I've been naming in the top ten are pretty like. I feel like most people would have them in the top ten. But Murder Excellence has, honestly, one of Kanye West's greatest verse on it, you know, talking about, and greatest messages as all, also, you know, you know, like, half the school got a tool and I could die any day type attitude. Like, not that verse necessarily, but the whole song as a whole is incredible. Kanye West talking about, you know, what's going on in Chicago, but also, so talking about murder, what's going on in Chicago, you know, the death, the destruction, the pain, but after turning into excellence, showing like black men like them, what we can achieve, the idea of black excellence, you know, you know, like when you picture an event being the black tie, what's the last thing you expect to see black guys, but they're there. Jay-Z and Kanye West are on the top of the world, the music industry, the rap game, they're there. They're excellent. Black excellence, this idea of black excellence. I was young when this song dropped. This idea of black excellence resonated for me to this day, man. Like when my friend got accepted for a doctorate degree, I, I put black excellence, man. When I think about black excellence, I think about that song, man. You know, seeing that, you know, we might struggle sometimes, but we can make it, guys. And 
it's a beautiful message. It's, it's motivational. The verses are incredible. Top two Kanye West track for me. Now, number one, drum rolls, please. Drum rolls, please. If you can guess it before I say it, let me know in the comments if you guess it right. But if you know me, the best Kanye West track of all time is Gorgeous off My Beautiful Life's Fantasy. This is his best song. This song, his verse, like he, like, the pen game on this is crazy. The pen game on this is hip hop, just a euphemism for a new religion. The soul music of the slaves that the youth is missing. What the hell? That's so poetic. That's beautiful, man. I could make, a, one day I'll make a video about this song. Let me know in the comments if you want that. But it's it's just such a powerful song, okay, by Kanye West. Talking about not only about what has happened to him, but what are black people going through in America, man, which is still relevant up to today. And talking about the importance of hip hop, because in DNA by Kendrick Lamar, when you have this white reporter saying, That's why I say that hip hop has done more damage to young African Americans than racism in recent years. Than racism in America or whatever. Like, what are you talking about? Hip hop is our culture, is in our blood, is our religion, man. You know, it's the soul music of the slaves, man. Like, Kanye West was spitting, man, on that track, man. It's, I love that track from A to Z. Kid Cudi's verse is amazing. Like, Raekwon went off on that track, bro. It is one of the best hip hop tracks of all time. And it's my favorite Kanye West track of all time. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Give me your top 20 down below in the comments. If I'm tripping, let me know in the comments. It's my opinion at the end of the day. And let me know what you thought about me. Let's talk about the song, dissecting the songs, guys. Let me know, please, in the comments. And guys, make sure to like, follow, share, comment if you like the video. And also, don't forget, I'm going to Kem Flogna in November. Make sure to hit me up on Instagram if you're going there, too. And I'm still doing the giveaway for the Blonde Vinyl Road to 10K. We're trying to get there, guys. So, guys, thank you so much for watching once again. And as usual, guys, keep it supreme.